Hey alias here and today I'm going to tell you how to use my floating object uh, script to create an uh, unique and exotic atmosphere in your missions. But first I want to give a shout out to Dantronic who is a sound designer, composer and sound engineer. If you are a Fallout or Stalker fan you're going to love his work. This is a video made by Dan while using my script in one of uh, his uh, missions and the quality of the music and sound effects is simply amazing. I love his uh, compositions, not to say that I love how he set up uh, this place here with uh, scripted light and particles which is simply delightful for a sci-fi theme fan as me. If you like what you see and hear, uh, check out his uh, YouTube channel and SoundCloud page for more. The links are in the description. As for Dan Tronic, I have to say thank you very much man, keep up the good work, I'm looking forward to see and hear more of it. Now let's have a look on type of movement uh, we can apply on objects. As you can see here, we can have objects uh, sliding, orbiting, rotating, bouncing and rolling. You can also combine movements. You could have objects rotating while uh, orbiting or rotating while bouncing and so on. Be advised though, uh, not uh, all movements look or work good with uh, each other but it's up to you to decide what uh, looks good to you or not by simply testing it. The script works on dedicated but what you see runs on client side. So expect players to see the objects in different position at given point in time. Why is that? Simply because I couldn't find a way to synchronize objects uh, movement between clients without uh, taking too much uh, resources on the server side. Anyways, if you find a way to synchronize uh, the objects between players without uh, impacting performance too much, let me know. I'll be glad to incorporate your solution in my uh, script. A good thing about uh, this script and this approach is that the script itself will pause if the player is too far to see the objects. There is no reason for the script to use resources if the player is not around to enjoy it. The let's call it uh, distance dependency or activation distance is something you can uh, set via script parameters. So you can set the activation distance for movement by hand. More than that you can set up a different value for each floating object. For instance in my uh, demo mission I set up the activation distance to 2000 meters and if I move my character away and I visit uh, the site with the camera you'll notice that the script pauses. Of course, if I move back into the area, the script will uh, start uh, running again. Let's have a quick look on parameters. First uh, is uh, the name of the object, or could be a variable called this if you plan to run the script uh, from object init field. Then we have uh, the slide velocity, which if is zero, the object will not slide, obviously. We have a slide distance, which is the distance the object will uh, slide on. Note that uh, slide direction is dependent on uh, object's uh, direction you set in the editor. So if the, let's say, object is uh, facing uh, 30 degrees on the compass, the slide movement will happen on that uh, bearing. Then we have the bounce speed, which obviously will set how fast an object will move up and down. We have uh, bounce altitude or distance, uh, which will uh, tell how high and low the object will bounce from initial position. Then we have the rotation velocity, which dictates how fast the object uh, rotates. We have uh, rotation direction, which can be clockwise or counterclockwise. Here we have uh, rolling velocity. Next is uh, orbit uh, radius, if we want the object to orbit uh, around something uh, at uh, a certain distance. And here we have uh, orbit speed, then we have orbit uh, direction, which is boolean and if it's true the object will orbit uh, clockwise and if it's false of course will be counterclockwise and finally we have the distance uh, dependency or the activation uh, distance about uh, which i uh, spoke earlier 
for the sake of uh, simplicity I made the uh, possible for you to run the script using two forms. You can use the short form when you want the object to have only one specific uh, movement, like in these examples. So basically instead of messing with a dozen of parameters, you only have to mine the ones related to that uh, specific movement. For instance, if uh, we talk, uh, let's say, about uh, rotation, we have the object, the rotation speed, direction of uh, rotation and activation distance. You need to use uh, the long form of the script only when you want the object to have more than one movement situation in which we have to deal with uh, all parameters. Although you can use the long form to give a single type of movement to the object and you can uh, do that by making the speed of a specific movement zero. The script will uh, ignore all movements with speed zero and you can see the examples here for each type of movement. If you want the object to have uh, a more complex movement you simply tweak the values for each movement like I did here in these uh, examples. For instance here we have an object which will uh, rotate and bounce in the same time. As you can see for each movement we have an array with uh, its own parameters and for clarity I made uh, all parameters zero for movements I don't want to have. To demonstrate I will copy this line open armor, place an object, set an altitude. Remember that the bouncing will happen below and above the initial position and altitude the object has and this is true for all movements. Place the line I copied in the init field of the object. Because this value is true the object will rotate uh, clockwise. Ok and run. And this is it, I tried to keep it as short as uh, possible, I hope you'll have fun using the script. If you have uh, questions or suggestions let me know in the comments, until next time have fun and uh, happy editing. <laughs>